Hey guys, so I'm going to go over the grammar for section 5b. Um, the first section on page 230 um, is purpose clauses not using ut. This time it's with the ablative of the relative pronoun, quo. Um, so this is the, the neuter ablative singular, um, literally by which, but this sets up a purpose clause, quo, with the subjunctive, um, will be translated in order that blank more. Um, so this is used with a comparative adverb or adjective as well. Um, so the examples they give are hoc fecit quo calarius per winiret. He did this, hoc fecit, um, in order to arrive more quickly. Quo calarius per winiret. Um, so the quo there, um, is uh, setting up this clause. And then the calarius is the neuter comparative, um, which is used as an adverb quickly, more quickly. Um, Pair to win yirdet is the imperfect subjunctive. Um, okay, and then the next example, quo facilior aditus ad consulum fieret. In order that there might be an easier approach to the consul. So this is like a sentence fragment, but this is um, the purpose clause. Um, yeah, and for this one, it's not the adverb form of the comparative, it's uh, the adjective form. So the facilior is um, agreeing with aditus, an approach, an easier approach, in order that there might be an easier approach to the consul. Um, Right, so for this construction, look for a quo, a comparative, either an adverb or an adjective, and a verb in the subjunctive, um, and translate it in order that. The next section of this grammar is for de ut, plus the subjunctive, which we translate as that it will would come about. Um, so this is a periphrastic construction, which means it's like a roundabout way of saying something. Um, so... There are two ways we talk about here of expressing a future in reported speech or an indirect statement. Um, so remember, indirect statement is set off with a speaking verb, um, like here we have dico, dicere, dixi, dictum, to say or speak. So our example using the future infinitive, which we've already learned in this construction, this is just regular indirect statement with the future infinitive to show um, future reported speech. Dixit se coptum iri. He said that he would be seized. So the coptum iri is the future infinitive. It has the neuter participle and the iri. Um, that he would be seized. Um, and then instead of using the future infinitive, you can also use a subjunctive construction with forde ut. Um, so dixit forde ut Caperitor. He said that it would come about that he would be seized. And you can translate these both as he said that he would be seized. Um, so, and they have two more examples. Dicit eos remissum iri. So that's with the future infinitive, remissum iri. Um, and then dicit fore ut remitantor. And both of those can be translated as he says that they will be sent back. So in reported speech or indirect, indirect statement, um, look out for forde ut plus subjunctive um, and translate it as that it will or would um, come about that. Um, right. Um, and they note here forde is same as futurum esse, so forde itself is a future infinitive, um, is the future infinitive of sum, that it will be the case that blank will happen. So for your homework, um, you're going to do this exercise A through E, um, and then the only other exercise in this chapter is the English to Latin, which um, I think is probably too much to ask, so I'm going to have you go back to the last section section 5a and do um, the reading exercise on page 228. 
um, to the reading exercise is in Latin and you're translating it into English and it has all of your notes. Um, so it's a, a section from Sallust. Just after Catiline has made a speech to his fellow conspirators, rousing them to action, Sallust describes their demand for a clear-cut goal and Catiline's promises of various rewards. So um, you will do um, the five exercises from 5B and then the one reading exercise from 5A. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Remember the quiz um, for this section 5B will be due Friday at midnight um, and it will probably be the same format as the last one. Um, and remember to study the vocabulary for 5B from the text and vocabulary book.